Hi, welcome to the Games Planner. I'm Jeff the Games Planner, and today I'm Games Planning Carpe Diem. So, it's been a year since I did my original Games Planations for Carpe Diem. What do I think of it? Do I still like it? Have I even played it? I'm glad you asked. The truth is, I have not managed to get this one back to the table. It's not a bad game, I just haven't managed to do it. The whole idea of this game is that you are moving around a single board, so you're following lines across, crisscross, to take tiles, placing them onto your personal board, and trying to build up areas to certain different sizes. Now, the, the beautiful part of this game is that there's a border piece, or pieces that get joined together, that tell you, I want to have this type of building in this line. I want to have this type of building in this line. And you're going to get points for the types of building you have in each line at the end of the game. And so you're able to play the, oh, I'll get this to kind of build all this stuff. But you've then got this other puzzle, which is different for every player. And so you end up chasing after slightly different things to each other. I really appreciate in that in games. I personally, this is a Stefan Feld game. I personally think this is not as strong as Stefan Feld as some of the other games that I've played of his. It's not a bad game, don't misunderstand me. But I don't think it's quite as strong as the other games. Um, I, it, it was overlooked, it was kind of, it came out and it, it happened. And then we moved on. And I think that's probably the right approach to Carpe Diem. It's like, oh yeah, okay, it's a game, it's a fun game to play, don't misunderstand. But it's not a game that I'm really jonesing to, oh, I've got to get onto that, got to get into that, and do that more and more and more, as some of these games behind me actually are. And I think once you start getting a collection that's this size, and it's not a big collection, let's be honest, there's only maybe 300-ish games behind me, but once you've got a collection that's kind of bigger than 50, you start looking at it and going, which game do I want to play? Uh this is not one of the games that's going to jump out and go, play me, play me. It's, it's unfortunate. It's a nice game. It's a fun game, but it's not a must-play kind of game, at least not for me. So, look, that's all I really have to say about Carpe Diem. There's not a whole bunch going on with it. Um, don't take this as a negative against the game. Please, have a look at it. Watch my games playing games explanation to get a feel for how the game plays and see if it's something that you would like. For me personally... Yeah, it's okay. So, I'll live there. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.